All right, so this is gonna be a video unlike any other video on this channel to this date, and that's because I'm not the one that's editing this video. Which is kind of scary because I'm not the one who's controlling what happens to this footage. But why don't I introduce you guys to who is editing this? Matthew. That's my name. Or Matt. That's cool too. Alright, now you know who's editing this and they're gonna do a really good job with this edit. You're gonna... You're gonna do a good job, right? Maddie, this isn't my first rodeo. Of course it's gonna be good. But I'm gonna try to film this like I normally would so it's as real world as possible. What do I normally do in my videos? Oh, I know. So I thought in this video we would talk about seven essential, imperative, crucial, necessary, indispensable tips for filmmaking beginners. If you're just starting out, and I, I apologize if you're not doing these and you don't consider yourself a beginner. Tip number one is to know your camera inside and out. Your shutter speed, ISO, f-stop, white balance, frame rates, anything and everything in your camera you should know. And this is because then you can focus on the more important things like framing, lighting, the story, all those things that are way more crucial than just, just the settings. So know your camera inside and out. Keep practicing those settings till you can do them in your sleep, no problems, you never have to think about what settings am I changing and why? And then number two would be to use a stabilizer. In this case, I'm just using like a Gorilla Joby monopod and because I'm on the one wheel, it should be fairly smooth. Uh, but use a stabilizer. Nobody likes shaky footage. And, and saying you're shooting handheld, don't use that as a cop out. And then number three, learn how to edit. Even if you don't wanna be an editor yourself, learn how to edit because it's super important for when you're filming. That way you know what kind of clips do you need for, to go from one section to the next section, what kind of filler clips, what coverage do you need. If you're not editing in your head while you're shooting, you're gonna miss out on a lot of shots. So make sure to edit so you kind of understand what's going on in the editing process. And speaking of editors, I'll let my uh, future editor take the next two tips here. Thanks. Thanks, Maddie. Like you said about filmmakers need to know how to edit, I think the same is also true about editors need to know how to film. So let's go somewhere a bit nicer. So for tip number four, I want to talk about location. Location is another tool we use to help tell the story. In my case, my location doesn't really help me tell the story, but it is visually appealing, which will help the audience engage. I mean, look at this, it's gorgeous. Let's get to the next tip. So for the fifth tip, I want to talk about pre-production. Pre-production is half the filmmaking experience. If you don't put the effort into figuring out how you're going to shoot and tell your story, you're going to have trouble editing your story later and you definitely won't be able to shoot it effectively or efficiently. Pre-production doesn't have to be complex. It can be anywhere from jot notes to a shot list all the way to storyboarding. That's it for me, guys. Thanks, Maddie. Back to you. Oh, hey, thanks for covering for me. Uh, tip number six, I would say, is get a decent mic. Do yourself a favor and get a good mic because Bad audio just, it's the worst. People are gonna hate it. People are not gonna like watching your stuff. It's not the coolest thing to invest in, but just do it, it's worth it. Number seven, and lastly, I would say just have fun with it. If you're not 
having fun while you're filmmaking, you're, you're just not gonna learn as much. So figure out what kind of filmmaking and, and what roles fit you best so that you can actually have a lot of fun with it because that's honestly the best way to learn. That's how I learned everything in the beginning. I just, I just had fun with it. I thought it was just a fun thing to do. I didn't care about getting paid or, or getting recognition or anything. I just liked doing it, so I, I just kept learning. So just have fun with it. All right, great. I think that's it for uh, the seven tips. Uh, how, how did we do? Did we did we make a good team? Uh, if, if you think so, uh, send some feedback in the comments if you like this collaboration between me and me. And if you think that me and me should keep collaborating, then uh, give a lot of thumbs up and, and a lot of encouraging words. And even if you don't, still be encouraging. Be nice, guys. Um, yeah, I guess I guess that's it for this video. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Um, hit the like button, click it, tap it if you're on a phone. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you're subscribed to the channel already. If you're not, then you probably could be. I don't know. You don't have to be. It's fine. I don't take offense. Uh, all right, I, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. And um, you guys will probably soon find out if uh, if me and um, me are, are going to be working together or not. Bye. up the floors.